My name is Bernard Norris, and this is my bulldog story. I grew up in the east side of Detroit. School life growing up is a blur. School just went by, it wasn't too difficult. I struggled a little bit in school when I was younger, but figured that out now. Some of my hobbies growing up was that I loved to play video games. I was really into sports, watching sports and playing sports. Football was one of the sports that really was like a team effort when it came to coming together with a group of brothers and competing for a championship or things of that nature. It just raised a fire in me and just made me a very competitive person when it comes to doing my best in anything. My home life growing up was just mainly with my mom and my grandma helping me out. My dad wasn't really in the picture. Like my mom was always there, so I always knew she was gonna be there and always got the attention from her. And I was the kid that was waiting up at night to see my dad after he got off work, waiting up at night to see when he's gonna come home. I loved him so much that I just wanted him to accept me for who I was at the time. Growing up, I barely knew all my siblings, but I do have 11 siblings in total. It's a big family. There is me, my sister, my brother on my mom's side, but my dad, he has eight on the other side. My mother is an RN nurse at Henry Ford Hospital. This will be her 13th year doing her job. She loves her job more than anything. She loves taking care of people, and that's another trait that I got from her. What she means to me is everything. She's been there for me since day one. She's always been there. She's always done everything she can for me, my brother, and my sister. No matter if we move out the house, no matter if we live somewhere else, no matter what we do, she was always there to help us move forward in life and not try to move back. She helped me get through college because, to be honest, I didn't have no money. I barely had any scholarships or whatnot, and it was getting to the point where I noticed she was struggling, and I noticed that school was getting hard to pay for, and my uh, girlfriend helped out a lot with helping me with the, like a personal loan and whatnot. But to be honest, if they didn't do the sacrifices they had, I would not be here. The main things that motivate me to keep going every day is just my future in general. Let me get the job that just makes me feel comfortable, that where I jump up every day and like, yes, I'm going to work. Not, oh, I'm going to work. Like, that's the one thing that motivates me to make sure that my family and my future kids know that hard work will pay off and keep moving forward, because you never know what could happen. You don't want to quit on your dreams, quit on what you want to do, because you never know when you're going to get the opportunity to shine and be the star that you're meant to be. What mainly got me to Ferris was that I secretly had a passion for photography, videography. I always thought that I wanted to be a great editor, but I didn't know Ferris had the TDMP program. I never knew that until I met one of the seniors, Marquise Dossie. He told me, that's all we do is deal with cameras, and then that's when my decision was made. I just went to career council, I talked to them, and they said, yeah, we have a program, TDMP, and that's how I got here. I love the major, I love what we do, it keeps me interested. When it comes to Ferris life, it's been great. Honestly, it's been a lot of cold experiences. I didn't know it could get this cold up here. A lot of great people, I made a lot of great friends. People like Glenn have pushed me to be a better content creator, knowing that when I get out of my program that wherever I go, I know I'll be prepared and ready to go.